y'all what's up this is liz of talk your itch liz podcast and i'm coming through because i'm about to do something and i don't know if it's going to change my life for the better or make it worse so i've seen a couple of videos on social media especially on tiktok where there have been a couple of girls who've done these dna findings background checks to find out family members and things like that one lady was in her 30s when she finally found her dad um there's another young girl who's trying to find i think her siblings or who her dad is Okay, so me, I'm in my 40s, um, and I have never been told anything about my dad, my father, anything at all. Well, I've, I've been told maybe like two or three things. One thing I was told by one of my older sisters where she said when my mom was pregnant with me, um, on the back porch, he left a lot of baby stuff. Um, I think also she said that his name may have been Harry, I think. Um, and this was like in the 70s um, here in... South Dade, Miami, Florida. As far as my mom, my mom has, have, have never, have never in all of my life given me any information about this man. I don't know if he was short, tall, dark, light. I have I, nothing. When I say she has never sat me down and gave me any information about this man, when I say nothing, ever in life. So I'm taking it upon myself now. At my big age, I'm in my 40s. I have two adult children myself. I know I look youthful, but I do have two adult children and a grandbaby. And I'm to the point now where I really want to know. Even if the outcome is bad, I want to know. So I bought this Ancestry DNA um, kit. And from what I've learned with this particular kit is if his DNA is in the system anywhere, and if anyone that's related to him's DNA is in the system and I put my DNA in the system, I'll be able to get some type of match. Now, the thing with this is, because I don't know, like, I have no idea about this man. I don't know if this man was married at the time I was conceived. And if he bought baby stuff, he knew I was coming. I don't know why he didn't continue to keep in contact with my mom, to check on me, to find out how I was doing, anything. Or I don't know if she kept me from him. To be, and I'm not, I haven't told my family about this. This is something that I'm just doing on my own because I can. And at the end of the day, I don't know if this man is dead or alive, short or tall, in the United States, out of the United States, have any other children. I don't know if I have other siblings besides the ones I have with my mom. Like, I have no information. I know nothing. But I'm going to do this in Ancestry DNA test. I want you guys to follow me, like, comment, everything, because when I get the results, I am definitely going to share with you guys. I'm nervous, as, but this is something I want to do. I do want to say that I'm extremely nervous about this process. Um, I, I, I really don't know what I'm going to find out. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be shunned or accepted. Um... I don't know if people are going to be happy, um, angry. I, I don't know. But what's crazy is, again, I've never wanted to do this before. And for some reason, watching other people's stories made me want to do it. So, again, this is the kit. Um... I'm going to show y'all what it looks like for y'all who have never done anything like this before, like me. So, this is the kit. Um, it has this little pamphlet. Um, it actually says, Welcome to a Whole New World of Personal Discoveries, The Ancestry Family. Um, it has a bag here. Um, it also has this little thing here. Let me get close so you can see it. My nails look a mess, but I will. Um, it just says Ancestry DNA on the front. I think this is the one where you have to fill it with saliva. Um, and then you have this pre postaged. Um, box to send it back so i plan on doing this tonight um 
I'm gonna have to register. I'm not gonna get you close because I don't want y'all to be seeing that, all that stuff and get the little registration code or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is the the kit. Um, I'm gonna do it tonight. I'm gonna do the process. I'm gonna go through with it. I mean, what harm can it do? I mean, what harm can it do? I mean, it can do um, some harm, especially if, again, if this man was married during the time I was conceived. Um, hopefully he's still alive. If I have other siblings, um, and that DNA is in the system, because you know all this is going to be based on if there's DNA in the system that matches to mine to build this little tree. But I really, really want to know, and I kind of want to know now at this age for my sanity. Um. I haven't had any medical issues to the point where I felt like this is something that was really, really needed. I did have a, a booby scare at one time and it kind of made me think because my mom and my sisters, nobody has had any issues as far as breasts are concerned. So when I started going through that process, it was like, could it be from the other side? Who knows? But, and I don't know if he's in his right mind, if he is alive. I don't know if he's still in his right mind. I mean, my mom is in her 70s. So he's, if, if still alive, is in his 70s, maybe 80s. I don't know if he was older than her because, again, I have no information on this man. Like, I couldn't tell you guys anything about him. Nothing. I couldn't tell you the color of his eyes, the color of his hair. Nothing. And that's the sad part because growing up, what's funny is no one ever, ever, now that I'm thinking about it, no one has ever in my life, not a friend or anyone asked me, where is your dad? No one has ever asked me that. And the thing that's weird is I've never mentioned to anyone that I had no idea who this man is. I may have when I was younger. But I really don't, I really never talked about it. Like, this is what's so weird about this whole process. Is like, at my big age, I have questions now. And I really can't ask my mom too much because she's in her 70s. Her memory is not, we're talking about 40-something years ago. Like, how do I know? It could have been a one-night stand. It could have been a fling. You know, she could have been out partying, throwing that ass in the circle. And I came out the circle nine months later. Um, but then I can't say it was a one-night stand because he bought <laughs> baby stuff to the house. So it's like, did he buy the baby stuff because he really wanted me? Or did he buy it as a part and gift? Like, he got some diapers, see when I see it. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't... Oh. It's like, I'm so torn right now. Like... But I'm not an overly emotional person, so I'm not going to be like, oh my God, that's not going to happen. Because um, I'm not an overly emotional emotional person. And that could be the reason why. Like, I feel like so much, like so much stuff right now, it's like the hamster's running on the wheel because I don't really date. I don't really date. Um, I have, I'm very short when it comes to men. Um. I'm not one of those girls where I would sit and let a guy handle me any kind of way. At the first sight of anything, I cut dudes off. Like, that's me. Like, I, I've always been like that since I was a jit. And it could be the reason why. Like, I'm so torn right now. But I'm going through the process. Um, again, listen. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, to my YouTube channel because when I get these results I'm going to post it good or bad I'm going to post it whether a, a person tell me I don't never want to see you I don't care nothing about you I'm going to still post it I'm going to post it to the person like oh my god I've been looking for you all my life I'm going to post it 
regardless of what the outcome is in this situation, I am going to post it. You know why? Because it's life. It is what it is. Again, this is Talk Your Ish List Podcast. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Because I feel like Ish might hit the fan. And if the fan is spending, the Ish is either going to blow in another direction or directly in my face. Y'all be easy. Bye-bye.